I was the first one in the family to graduate from high school. He took his teeth out and was showing them to my aunt uh, at Christmas. They gave us toys. He was my, my cousin's best friend, and I met him at my aunt's when he went for lunch one Sunday. We were the poor, poorest kids in the school, and the nuns let us work and clean rooms to pay for our tuition. She, she didn't cause any trouble. Neither one of the kids caused any trouble. But at that time, we believed in punishment. You know, we didn't whip, but we believed in punishment. I never knew my daddy too well. He, he lived in New Orleans. I would forgive anybody anything. Everybody makes mistakes, and you can always make up for your mistakes. She's just like a sister to me. We've always been very, very close. I mean, you know, we've always corresponded when they lived in New Orleans and everything, and always visited them. And uh, she's do anything for you. Very considerate. Even now, she worried about if we ate and stuff like that, you know, when she's sick and everything. She's a very sweet person. I don't know many people who have had the lifespan that she has that will tell you honestly. She's told me before that there's, if she had her life to live over, there's absolutely nothing she would change. And that's what stands out. You know, not many people can say that they don't have any Thing they would no do-overs, but Meemaw doesn't. She'll tell you that she wouldn't change anything. Yeah, she, you know, and I, she wasn't much on giving advice, but if you asked her, she would, you know, give it. But she didn't just offer. You know, she didn't try to butt into your family life or anything.